Hey everyone, it's Thursday today and I am going to go out to Liverpool, I think. I'm going to go to Westfield and see what's out there and just have a bit of a shopping day. <laughs> Song because I just thought they were ripping off Tracy Chapman but I actually think it's a really nice version of the song and I still love the original but I actually really like this one as well. I need to find an outfit for this weekend because we have, I don't know if it's a festival or it's like an event at a club. I haven't really figured that out. I need to buy the tickets this afternoon so I'll work it out then but I'm really excited for that. I just need to find an outfit. You know what, I think I need to figure out if it's a daytime or a nighttime thing before I even find an outfit. Because if it's a festival, then I'll wear like shorts and something cute like that, like festival-y. But then if it's a club, then I'll wear something nightclub-y. Fuck, this is confusing. I'm going to Google the thing. That light was seriously orange for about five seconds and then it went red. I always get so lost around here. Okay, Liverpool city centre is that way, so I'm going this way. I wish you guys could see this road. It's fucking fucked up. What the fuck was that car going to do? Oh, I wish I had a dash cam. You guys need to see this shit that goes on the road. Oh, rashes. I love rashes. I could go for some fucking rashes right now. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. There's, I'm pretty sure the Westfield's near the hospital. And there's a sign saying hospital this way, so I'm hoping for the best. I fucked that bit up. Are you serious? That just went orange after about five seconds. I kid you not. That's bullshit. I just want to say a little prayer, a little thank you, a little hallelujah. I just got a spot like next to the disabled spots right near the entrance. I don't even know how that happened. Like the doors are literally just there. I don't know. <laughs> I am so lucky. Those chairs are gorgeous. I want those chairs in my house. Now I'm starving, like I'm absolutely starving. So I've come to Macca's because where else do you come when you're starving and you're driving? Hey, can I please get a medium cheese bagger meal? Yep, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thanks. And can I please get extra onion and sauce on the bagger? For a limited time, exclude us. Thank you. So my friend at Macca's decided that, you know what? Let's not give this bitch any extra sauce because she doesn't deserve it, apparently. So let's see if they can get extra sauce and onion on the burger this time. Because there's no way I made in Macca's without my extra onion on the burger. Like, I don't even mean to be a pain, but I'm not. Hi, there's meant to be extra sauce and onion on the burger that they want. Thanks, so. I got to the window and then she already had a bag waiting for me, so... I don't really know. In all honesty, I didn't even want to talk about what I just got. It was so disgusting. It was just like the shittest cheeseburger I've ever had. I was like, going to have another bite. But I'm dumb. That was gross. Bloody hell. The last place I went was Factory, actually, and they gave me just this huge bag. So I've got everything shopped in here. But the first place I actually went was to Maya, because when I parked, like, you had to walk through the Maya to get to the rest of the shop. So I'm like, well, I obviously have to look in Maya first. And I went to the makeup section, obviously. And then I saw these Chi Chi matte lipsticks. They were on clearance. They used to be $25 and now they're $17.50. And one of these um, chromey matte lipsticks on its own is like $17. So I thought, 
why the hell not? Three of them for the price of one, basically. And I think these might have been part of the Christmas collection. I'm not too sure. But it's got the colours, uh, what are they? This is Socialite, Drama Queen, and Lady in Red. Then I went to Typo, and since it's Valentine's Day soon, I had to get a card, because I always get cards from Typo. I just think they're hilarious. Um, so I got this for Jake. It says, you're the bitch for me. And then it just says, happy Valentine's Day. And that was five dollars so that's a good card i'm getting prepared i also need to book a hotel either this afternoon or tomorrow because we're going to go spend the night somewhere probably down the coast so i need to organize that i then went to priceline and what did i even get a priceline oh yeah i got a pair of lashes they're just the ardell glamour lashes that just look like that and then i got a two pack of simple wipes they were on special how much for that the receipt. They were $5.50 for two packs, so that was a good deal. They're usually like $5.50 per pack. And then the lashes were $8.80. I think they were on special as well. I then almost had a heart attack at the next place, and you would have seen it already from footage, but there was a Mecha Maxima, and I didn't even know there was a Mecha Maxima at this Westfield in particular. So obviously I just like shit myself when I saw it, and I had to go in, and I didn't need anything. But obviously I got a few things that I thought I needed. So this is the cute little bag. I love Mecha packaging. It's just so good. We've got a little catalogue in here. Oh, I can't wait to look at that later. It's just got all the new stuff at Mecca. And oh, oh, I love makeup so much. Oh, they even wrapped it up for me. I am just, I'm living for this right now. Their packaging just makes my life, makes my day. Just Mecca, I love you, Mecca. Okay. Oh, there's a little sticker on it. Let's open it. <laughs> I met her in the suit. I told the girls when I was in there as well. I'm like, you know what, girls? This is the nicest Mega Maxima I've ever been in. And it was true. It was so big. I reckon it was honestly nicer than the one in the city. And, oh, I fell in love. The girls were so nice. They wrapped it so nice. I can't believe they wrapped it for what I bought as well because I didn't buy anything expensive. Okay, so in my little package, I've got... I bought some Duo Lash Glue just because I saw it and I needed it and I've been using that really shitty lash glue that like comes with the lashes that you buy so I needed some proper stuff. This is just the clear one. I got a couple of things from Soap and Glory. The first thing I got was a mini hydrating hand cream and it's just called Hand Food. It just looks like that. It's not going to focus. And then I got a Handmade. It's called Handmade and it's a hand sanitizer. I'm actually going to try this now to see what it smells like. Oh, some just fell out. It smells so good though, holy crap. And it wasn't, it was $5. This was $5 and so was this other little mini. Oh, that smells so good, holy crap. I love that hand sanitizer. That is going straight in my handbag right now and it's replacing this Aquim one, which is just a piece of shit now. I've got my little handmade. I also forgot something that I got from Typo. It was on clearance. It's just these, it's called the Book of Vouchers. And I won't open it because I'm going to keep it for Jake for Valentine's Day. But I'm sure you'll see it a bit later on when I'm organising everything for Valentine's Day. But it just has heaps of stuff like IOU, breakfast in bed, a back massage, I'll clean your car, all those kind of vouchers. I thought it was really cute, so I had to get that. Last place I went was Factory, and he gave me a huge ass bag for the tiniest thing. Like, I don't know why I didn't reject the bag when I think about it. <laughs> I just got this top. It was just on the clearance rack. It's just a crop top. And these always look so small when you haven't worn them because they obviously stretch heaps when you put them on. And then it's got that on the back. It's probably a bit hard to tell what it looks like when I'm not wearing it. But got that. I don't have a knit, like a knitted one of these, so this will be nice. A tiny bit more warmer on my chest. So that's everything I've got. Still fucking disappointed that that burger was horrible. But then again, what do I expect going to Macca's? I just wish there were some smart people working at Macca's. I'm sure there are. Obviously there's lots of smart people working at Macca's, just not this particular Macca's that I went to, because they are fucked up in the head. So I was having a really good day until I almost just got fucking run off the road by some dickhead and I try really hard not to get road ragey, but I just, I can't. I get very road ragey. And not to the point where it makes it unsafe for other drivers, but uh, this is the first time I've ever done something like this. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 
there's so many. There were like two lanes and I was in the left lane and then the left lane eventually entered and you had to merge into the right lane. And I had plenty of room, like he wasn't anywhere near me. And then as soon as I put my right blinker on to merge, I started like moving over to the right lane and he just like, I never know where the fuck he came from. He just started flying up and like, I saw him go straight past me. Like I was merging over and he like went past me as I was merging, if that makes sense. But he was just a complete wanker, nearly ran me off the road. And then he's just like, and then after he does that, he's just swerving all over the road and everything. So I naturally just slam my horn down for like probably 15 seconds or something. I'm fucking pissed. I'm like, no, don't you do that. I start following him and I follow him for probably about five kilometers. Like I'm dedicated to this following. I don't really know what I'm going to do when he stops. I'm thinking that the whole way. Like I'm thinking, shit, what if he stops at like some ghetto-y house and then he pulls out a gun or a knife and... I was just feeling really brave, don't know why, very unlike me to be feeling brave in a situation like that. He wasn't even using a blinker and I think that was because he knew I was following him. So he'd be turning left and he'd just like turn around the corner, he wouldn't even put his left blinker on. And I'm like, you know what, I can do I can keep up with you, don't try and be so smart. And then he finally, he does his last turn without his blinker and then he pulls over onto the curb. I pull up behind him, he gets out of the car, he comes over to me and he just starts screaming. When I saw him get out of the car and come over, I had my phone here and I'm like, quick, I need to start videoing it, this could be like a viral sensation. He comes over and he just starts screaming, yelling, saying, you're a fucking idiot. And then I'm like, hell no. I get out of the car, I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. I'm like, oh, it just pisses me off so much when people don't drive safely on the road. It, it's just, I've known, I know of so many people who have been killed in car accidents and it's just so sad and car, driving a car is just one of the most deadly and dangerous things you can do and so many people just don't realise it and driving like he was, like a complete wanker, it just makes it so unsafe for everyone else and I don't stand for that. So I followed him. <laughs> I feel like such a creep. I didn't fault, like he was speeding too, it was a 60 zone, he was doing about 70, 80, but I stayed on 60, maybe 65 pushing it, but I wasn't speeding because I you know, there's no point chasing someone and then getting a speeding bun for it. I would have been double pissed then. So I'll probably insert that now. Okay, the problem. You're my problem. You can't fucking drive to save your life. You're a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Huh. When you run someone off the fucking road, I hope you are happy. Good luck. You don't blink. You don't even know how to fucking drive. You swear you're all over the road. You're a fucking idiot. Well, have fun when you kill someone on the fucking road, you dickhead. So that was fucking intense, eh? Hey? <laughs> a lot of swearing. You can tell how angry I sounded when I was screaming at him. I was just... Oh, I was fucking furious. I still am a bit furious, but I'm not shaking anymore or anything. I'm like, I'm kind of calm. So that was my road rage experience of the day. Now I'm heading home and I'm going to take Kel down to the mall just to get some groceries for dinner and then I have to go to the doctor and get results back for, it was like this breath test I did because I've been getting really bad like indigestion and heartburn recently and I'm not sure why so they just wanted to see if I have like an excess build up of acid on my tummy or something so I have to go back and get those results. I've just left the doctors and that breath test came back negative so that was awesome news I don't have to go on antibiotics or anything but they gave me some of this it's just like Nexium which is like a prescribed heartburn tablet instead of Zantac or something like that so hopefully this works if it doesn't she said come back and then I have to I forget what it's called the camera down the throat to see what's going on so hopefully I don't have to do that a big shout out to Maccas like my local Maccas for actually knowing how to put extra onion and sauce on a burger like this is what I'm talking about mate <sighs> people at this Maccas are smart people at Liverpool Maccas are just a bit in the head in the head only if you're working today and we're on drive through and we're making my burger like everyone else there is probably cool but the burger makers it's the end of the night well it's like nine o'clock i'm gonna go have a shower and take all this makeup off and go to bed i'm looking shiny as fuck the day's over everyone was cranky about the guy who nearly ran me off the road and everyone like put stuff on facebook and tried to like catch him but i'm not cranky about it anymore i've moved on he's just a wanker and i really hope that he gets pulled over one day and loses his license because he doesn't deserve to be driving. But that's all from me today and I will see you guys tomorrow.